Hello everyone, as you know, I am Paul, your eHobby guy. In a previous video, I demonstrated the use and configuration of a capacitive touch switch. And at the end of that video, I demonstrated how this very low signal device could be used to control a high powered, high voltage AC fan. Since then, I got many requests to go over the control circuit and its schematic to control the high powered fan. And so that will be the subject of today's video. And without further delay, let's jump right in. Okay, to get started here, we're going to take a look at an N-channel MOSFET. So we'll just start out with the N-channel MOSFET and draw that here. We'll call this the drain, source, and gate. We're going to use a 5 volt DC power source for the control circuit. And we're going to have 120 volt AC to power our fan at the end. We're going to pull a 10K resistor down to the negative. So this is 10 kilo ohm. So here we have the NPN transistor and we'll look at the exact part number in a second. We're going to always pull the gate down to ground. We're going to give it 5 volts to activate. And when it's deactivated, uh, the 10K will just pull the gate to ground and make sure that it's not active. Now to activate this gate, um, I'm just going to use a simple switch. So this is the plus. So I'm going to pull a simple, normally open switch to activate this gate. Now up here, we're going to use the NPN transistor to activate a relay. So here we'll put a relay coil. The other side of the relay coil will be into our positive 5 volt here. So when this is activated, it's going to provide the negative to the coil and activate the relay coil. I'll just draw it as a simple form A contact, normally open. We'll call this the relay here, relay. Down here, I'll just draw an AC power source. It's going to be AC mains, 120 volt AC. One leg of this is going to go right into the relay. Here we're going to have the load, which is going to be our AC fan so we'll just put that into a box here and that's two legs of AC one is going to come right off the relay and the other is going to be fed from our AC mains directly so one of the legs off the fan is going to go into the relay and one leg of the AC mains is going to the relay the other leg is going directly to the fan. That's our entire circuit. Walking through its activation, we have a positive 5 volts here. When we press this, we're activating this NPN MOSFET, which is going to provide a ground to the relay coil. So the relay is going to have um, its plus 5 up here and negative here. That's going to activate the relay and close this switch. In closing the switch, we're completing this AC circuit and providing power to the fan. The isolation is coming with this relay. So we have the low 5 volts DC here and the high voltage 120 volt AC here. Complete isolation with the relay here. You might ask, uh, why don't we just use the NPN MOSFET to power the fan? I don't even know how much current is required by the fan. And it's AC. The relay, which we'll take a look at in a minute, is rated for 20 amps. There's no way that this fan is taking 20 amps. So I know I'll be safe with this PCB mount relay that we're going to take a look at and breadboard right now. Here's the circuit. We're going to take this and we're going to jump over to the breadboard and build it step by step. Here's a breadboard I chose. It's actually uh, three smaller breadboards that uh, connect to each other here. So I jumped positive and negative to each of the three boards. I have a bunch here, but I said, why not use this one? So I have power here, 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 and here. I like doing it that way because I can make short jumps wherever I need power. That's the breadboard. Here is the N-channel MOSFET. Now this MOSFET is an IRF Z. 44N and channel MOSFET. Now one thing we have to be careful about with all MOSFET transistors is to look at the pinout configuration. Here is the pinout configuration 
for the IRF Z44N and channel MOSFET. Today I'm just going to use a standard push button. This is a normally open push button instead of the capacitive touch switch. I really exhaustively covered that in a previous video. Of course I'll leave a link in the description to that video. So instead of that I'm just going to make it a little more simple and use this switch which does the exact same thing as the capacitive touch switch. Here's a 10 kilo ohm pull down resistor for the gate of the end channel MOSFET. And finally the relay. So here you can see the relay. It's an SRA-05 VDC, which is volts DC-CL. You can see the, the contact rating right here. It's 20 amps at 125 volts AC. It's also 20 amps at 14 volts DC. So this is a 5 volt relay with one Form C normally open, I'm sorry, Form C contact, which has a common normally open and a normally closed. Of course, I do have a very comprehensive video explaining in detail all relays quite comprehensive like i said i would highly recommend uh, taking a look again i'll leave a, a link in the description for that another thing to mention and it's not very obvious here i don't even think i can get a good view of it here underneath here you can actually see they drew a coil you can barely see it across from this pin to this pin they drew a coil it's pretty good that they do that now if they didn't draw the coil and you didn't have a spec sheet for it which can happen with some obscure relays it's very good that they drew this they molded it right into the bottom here and they also showed um, a contact here which is normally closed so it looks like this is the common this pin is the normally closed this is the normally open and one quick check about this being the coils you could just measure the resistance of the coil let me do that right now remember your finger can touch one of the probes but not both there we go 41.9 42 ohms common normally closed normally open let's check that so we'll do just a continuity check between the common and the normally closed and there we go it's actually a half an ohm 0.5 through the wire there and this is the normally open which is totally open get my finger off of that probe yeah so open closed just one note about this push button in case you didn't know diagonal pins there's four pins on this let's see if we can get a better look there we go we can see four pins this is a momentary normally open switch any diagonal pins are normally open contact so this pin to this pin is normally open this pin to this pin is normally open so once again looking back quickly at the uh, schematic here the 5 volt dc is just going to come from my my lab benchtop power supply the switch is the small switch we have here the 10 ohm resistor we have and channel mosfet and relay that's it it's actually a very small basic circuit the ac mains is going to come from just a card that i get and we're going to plug in and have the two wires coming right out of it one's going to go right to the fan one's going to go to the relay as we talked about so we're just going to interconnect it exactly to this schematic getting started here we'll just get started with the end channel mosfet we'll pop it in anywhere here I will bend it over a little so you can see the three pins. Now looking at my schematic here off the side, we have the 10K is going to go from the gate. The gate is the leftmost pin. So I'm going to go from the leftmost pin to ground. So that's the resistor connected. I'm just going to pop this switch anywhere. And for the switch, we're going to get positive 5 volts in one side. There's a positive 5 volt, so the opposite corner of this button is going to go to the gate, which is the leftmost pin here. Alright, 5 volts coming into the corner, opposite corner is going to the gate, it also has 10k going to ground. The source is pin number 3 here, the rightmost pin. So the rightmost pin, the source, is going to ground with this blue wire. Now we'll just pop this relay on. I'm going to put across our ridge here so that we're separating the contacts from the coil. Row number 11 is one side of the coil and row number 7 here is the other side of the coil. So one side is getting 5 volts DC, the other side is going to the drain of the MOSFET. So let's get those hooked in. So I do have a 5 volt DC right here, which is why I kind of like using these boards like this because the power is in several places and so I have red here 
going into row 11 swing that around now I have 5 volts here to the coil and the other end is going to go to the drain of this MOSFET the drain of the MOSFET is pin number 2 the middle pin of the three pins pin number 2 now we're hooked up in essence we've created the control circuit this should work I'm gonna get 5 volts onto this board and we should at least hear the relay click let's get some power hooked up here now that we have 5 volts power we should be able to get here a click on this relay here's the big test hopefully we're gonna hear it click yes I think it's audible it should be so I won't talk so that's it clicking and just so that you can see the contrast there is no clicking you can hear the button press but no relay clicking so bring that back in yeah so we are getting relay activation so we've built the circuit now we have to add through the normally open contact here the high voltage and the fan so I'm going to just take it out and take a quick look again yeah, so the common is all the way in the middle here, which is going to be row number 9. And the normally open, so when I flip it over, it's going to be this bottom left contact. So let's bring in our high voltage and our fan. Here I just have a regular US power cord lead. We're going to hook up, the white is the neutral and the black is the live. We have one leg of the fan is going directly to the AC power. The other leg we're breaking. And I did insert a jumper here so that I can go from the other leg of the fan right to the common. Now the other end of the relay, which we know is row number 11 here, is going to go to the other leg of the fan right here. So I'm going to do one last check here that nothing is touching here control circuit still working everything is clear so I'm going to plug it in nothing should happen when I plug it in because we haven't activated it with the control circuit so let me get it plugged in okay we are live so I'm going to stay completely away from everything here again I'll just remind you that this is pretty loud so when I press this it's going to turn on when I release it's going to turn off as we know the MOSFET will only be active when this switch is closed so let's give it a try whoa yeah I gave some rotation there gave my finger a little uh, scruffing <laughs> so I'm gonna keep a, a hold of this with my left hand and press this so you can see it did work small low voltage control circuit activating this relay to turn this fan on let's do it again and release you could have a toggle switch doing the exact same thing capacitive touch switch any light duty switch to activate this very high voltage 120 volt mains voltage fan let's try it one more time very good now what I want to do is just check the actual current that it is drawing AC current so let me grab my meter and I'll be right back here I've hooked up my clamp meter here on one leg of course and here is the amp reading so I'm going to press the button and we'll see it, it, it says 1.9 amps AC so let's give it a whirl and we'll see let me hold on to this fan everything is separated again high voltage is still live so be very careful press 2.17 it did uh, have an inrush of being much higher I'm wondering I'll do it again if you look it actually has an inrush and jumps up way higher 2.3 2.4 amps let's take a look and here we go yeah 2.9 it was almost 3 amp inrush on this this does have a good response time uh, this is a unity UT210E which I love I think we can wrap it up Thank you very much for taking the time to watch today. I am on social media, so follow me there. Remember to click the circle with my picture in it to subscribe to this channel. And that doesn't even mean too much these days anymore. So remember to hit that notification bell to be notified of when new videos are released. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.